Welcome to Directions to the Writer's Room. I'm your host, Devon Mathis. Directions to the Writer's Room is a video project that I was assigned by my professor, Brenda Pinado, at the University of Central Florida. It's for my advanced script writing workshop class. The topic of this essay is jobs for writers in the television industry with a special look at the writer's room. The first thing that any good screenwriter should know is that you're probably going to have to move to California. Now that's not to say that all screenwriting jobs are in California, but a vast majority are. When you make this move, you should already have in hand your spec script. Your spec script is basically your version or an episode of an ongoing show that you've written. So for example, the spec script for me would be a episode of Grey's Anatomy that was written by myself. Also, you should have a script of your own original work. As to where most jobs, fellowships, or labs are going to require this at some point in your interviewing process. After you've adjusted, you're probably going to want to start looking for a manager or an agent, or maybe both. Now, a manager is basically the sensei of the script. He's there to help you hone your skills into creating the best draft of your script that you possibly can. Now, if you feel you've already done this, then a manager not, may not be for you, and you can skip straight over to an agent. An agent's job is to be the middleman in between you and production companies to get your script out there. They're going to take meetings and basically be the seal of approval as well that your script is ready to go. More than likely, your agent is going to have multiple years in the television industry and they've made contacts and they've read plenty of scripts. So they're going to know whether your script is good or not. And if they decide to be your agent, that means that they think it's good enough to be sold. Now, once your manager has okayed your script and told you that it's completed and your agent has begun to put it out there to, and give it to producers and people with his contacts, all you have to do now is wait for staffing season. Staffing season is a time in between March and June in which all the hiring for shows are typically done. After a show has been greenlit for a second season, third season, or further, that's when the clocks come out. Every writer in California is going to be looking for a job, and you're trying to take it from them. Everyone is your competition. While I was conducting my research on how to receive a job as a writer in the television industry, I came across three common methods. The first being the most common was working your way up. Usually this involves internships and being a PA or something like that. Unfortunately, I don't have the audio for the Skype interview that I held with Mr. Brendan Gallagher, but what I am going to do is show you guys his Facebook page, which gives you a brief description of his work history. And from there, you can see that he's held multiple lower level jobs before finally being able to obtain the position as a writer's assistant in the writer's room for the show that he's currently working on called The Bold Type. Here you can see that he's worked multiple shows he was a showrun. Um, he was the showrunner's assistant for Famous in Love. He's done freelance work. He's uh, he's worked for the University of Pittsburgh. He was a former writer's PA for Heartbeat. He's held multiple multiple positions before he was finally able to get into get to get his foot in the door as a writer for the Bold Type on Freeform. In the television field for writers, the terms fellowship and lab are often used interchangeably, but there's one key difference. A lab is open to almost anyone who applies, and if you're one of the best, then you get selected. The same thing applies to a fellowship, except for the fact that the fellowships are, com are most often limited to those of certain minority groups, such as women, members of the LGBTQ community, Blacks, Asians, Latinos, and it's usually given as a chance for the writer's room to add some diversity to his group, to have people that understand a different background than that of theirs. As you can see, this application for the CBS Corporation was, is done by its diversity group and reads, 
the Writers Mentoring Program or CBS Diversity Program is not employed in is not employment and there is no monetary compensation. It is instead a structured program of career development, support, and personal access to executives and decision making process with the goal of preparing aspiring writers for a later employment and opportunity in television. This is a fellowship as it is seeking a diverse group of people to apply for its application. And a little further down, we have Fox's Writer Lab. Fox's Writer's Lab is not a fellowship, meaning it's open to any and everyone who applies and they aren't looking for specific and or diverse writers. Fellowships or what are often known as diversity writing programs are one of the three most common ways of breaking into or getting one's foot inside the door of the screenwriting realm. They're commonly about six months long and are equivalent to a screenwriter's boot camp. The ones that are currently seen on the screen are known as the Big Six, which are CBS, Disney, Fox Writers Lab, Writers on the Verge, which is the NBC production, Nickelodeon, and the Warner Brothers Writers Workshop. All of these programs offer up a certain amount of spaces to individuals who want to learn the ins and outs of the screenwriting business. The individuals selected are even allowed to work on some of the network's most awarded shows and even have their spec strips for the shows given and read to by the writer staff of these shows. On the screen, I currently have an application for the Disney slash ABC Writing Fellowship. The fellowship is a year-long program based in you guessed it, Los Angeles, California, you guys. Unlike most of the fellowships, it's actually a paid fellowship. It provides a weekly stipend of $961.54, which adds up to annually $50,000. The primary goal of the program is to staff the writers on shows during the one year program. However, staffing is not guaranteed. And it's said that often recipients of this fellowship go on to actually work for the program. In order to become a recipient of this award, there are certain few requirements that you have to meet, such as the usual must be 21 years of age and able to work inside of the United States. But there are also a few things that the application must include. The, app the application must include an original pilot script as well as as well as a spec script, two of, two of the things that I previously mentioned. Writers must complete an application and assigned release form for each script as well as include a resume aligning in chronological order previous jobs that apply to television and writing as well as include the salary that they receive for it. This is also where labs and fellowships kind of differ. For a fellowship, you typically have to include an essay, which reflects an application of unique life experience in a personal story, which will demonstrate the writer's ability to make distinct contributions to the, to the writer's room. Whereas in a lab, you are required to include a cover letter as in for any other job. And last but not least, well kind of least because it's optional, is a letter of recommendation. Now this is not required but it is recommended. And at the bottom it goes on to tell you when this application opens, when it closes, and how to apply. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the Directions to the Writer's Room. I hope you found it beneficial if you're attempting to find a job um, as a as a writing assistant or just in the realm of writing for um, a television series. Thank you and have a nice day.